You can import a relational data object in Informatica Developer to use relational data as a source, target, or lookup in a mapping. Before we import a data object, we need to configure a connection to the relational database. Use the Create Connection button on the toolbar to create a connection. You can create connections to different relational sources such as Oracle, DB2, and Microsoft SQL Server. You can also create a JDBC or an ODBC connection to access tables in a relational database. Let's create an Oracle connection. First we need to enter a name and connection type. Then select the domain where we want to create the connection. Then we can enter the connection details such as the username, password, and connection string. And save the connection. Click yes to add the connection to the Connection Explorer view. Now we can create a relational data object. In the Connection Explorer view, expand the database to view tables. Right-click the Employees table and click Add to Project. Click OK to create a data object for each resource. The new Relational Data Object dialog box opens. Add the table to a project. In this demo, we will add the table to the sales project and click Finish. The developer tool creates the data object and it is open in the editor. The developer tool displays data object properties based on the type of relational database. You can view and modify the relational data object properties before you use it in a mapping. For example, the Overview view provides information about the data types within the table, the precision, and scale of each column. Notice that you can see which column is the primary key and which columns can have null values. In the Keys view, you can add or remove primary keys. In the Relationships view, you can define the primary key and foreign key relationship between relational data objects. Now we can use the Data Viewer view to preview the data represented by the relational data object. Click Run to preview the data. The table contents appear in the output window. Now let's add the relational data object as a source in a mapping that I've already started. First we will open the mapping. Then click on the data object and drag it to the editor. Accept the Read option and click OK to add the relational data object as a source. After you add the relational data object to a mapping as a source or target, you can define more read and write properties such as pre and post mapping SQL commands, tracing levels, truncated rows, and reject file management. To see the steps to create a complete mapping, see the video titled, Create a Pass-Through Mapping. The developer tool includes a cheat sheet that explains how to import and preview a relational data object. Click Help, then click Cheat Sheets and select the cheat sheet called, Import and Preview a Relational Data Object. That completes this demo. To summarize, we imported a relational data object, previewed the data object, and added the data object as a source in a mapping. If you have feedback on this demo or to request a demo on another topic, email us at infa underscore documentation at informatica.com. You can also tweet us on the Infa Support Twitter site.